Now, earlier I was talking to Brother Lewis also. He's committed his life to Jesus. And now, God be willing, he's going to take baptism. And I, I already asked him, is he ready? He said, yes, he's ready. Again, we'll be asking him, are you ready? And when he is in the tank, again I'll ask him, are you ready? I'm not going to force him. The door is open, he can walk out, go back, catch the Amtrak and go back to Louisiana. I'm not going to bribe him. God is not going to bribe him. Using his free will, he has to decide whether I want to give my body to Jesus. There may be some who have not yet taken baptism. Maybe you have not brought your clothes. Someone from New Orleans is sitting here. I was praying Saturday night, Lord, if it's not your will, he should not board the train. But you just heard Brother Sushil saying, I use the laptop to take bath. So he can tell the advertisers, you can use the laptop as a torch also. <laughs> There were hindrances, but thank God. The devil is mad, but my God is happy. Hallelujah. Let the devil get Hallelujah. mad. We are going to make him more mad. Hallelujah. But we have to please God. When I am taking baptism, what does this mean? Lord, here come. I give my body also into your hands. Why am I giving my body? So that through this body, others should see Jesus Christ. He has shed his blood for this body. He has purchased it. You know the blunder you committed by taking water baptism? The equation changed. He's not going to deal with you the day, the way he dealt with you earlier. Once you are baptized, the body is not yours, it's his. He has the freedom to do anything with that. He doesn't care what your desire is. It's his. I hope you understand. Think twice before you take baptism. It's not a joke. If he decides a cancer should come, it will come. It's his body, not yours. It's he who decides what should be done with that body because he purchased it by shedding his own blood. Israel makal Sinai yathyapam. When Israel is at Sinai, you read that verse. Let's turn to Exodus chapter 19. Verse 4. Here we read Exodus chapter 19, verse 4. Ye have seen what I did unto the Egyptians, and how I bore you on eagle swing and brought you unto myself. That's God talking. He brings them to Sinai, and now God talks. Yesterday night we were looking at how God delivered Israel from Egypt brings them to Sinai. They were murmuring, they were grumbling, they were mad at God, but God did not punish them. From Egypt till Sinai, there is no mention that any children of Israel died. Is it true? They murmured, they grumbled, but God did not punish any one of them. But the fact is, all those who crossed the Red Sea, it's only two who entered the three million crossed the Red Sea, but it's only two who entered the promised land. That's God. We were singing, How great thou art. Yes, He's a great God. He's an awesome God. He's a sovereign God. You and I need to know the God whom we are serving. There is someone who is walking in our midst. He's not someone whom we made God. It's He Himself who is God. He says, I am that I am. Whether you worship Him or not, He is God. 
It's easy to give some offerings. He wants us. He tells the children of Israel, you have seen what I have done. Till now they were crumbling. They were mad at God. They wanted to go back. Now he brings them to Sinai and he says, I bore you on eagles. But from now on, the equation is going to change. Same way, number Snana Pertukarinyal, Pinay Sharira Mahadeva. Whose is this body? Now, Louis also, today you are going to get baptized. Think twice. You are going to give your body to Jesus. I am going to give Can he do anything with this body? This is his body for his glory. This is his body for his glory. Let Atlanta see Jesus Christ walking in the streets of Atlanta. Let Georgia see Jesus Christ. That's the dedication when we take baptism. Now Louis, when he'll be entering into water, he doesn't know what's there in store for him in the days to come. I don't know. Maybe I'll never see him again. But thank God with all sincerity, what he is going to do is, Lord, here am I. I can't give you anything. Take this body. God looks at that sincerity. Though we may not be there with him, but the one into whose hands he is committing his life, he is faithful. Amen. Why am I worried when problems are there in my life? That's why you turn to James chapter 1. James chapter 1, verse 2 and 3. My brethren, count it all joy when you fall into various trials, knowing this, that the testing of your faith work of patience. Can anyone read in Malayal? What does the scripture say? Count it all. When? When you fall into various trials. See, always we should understand in English there are two words, temptations and trials. There is a difference between both. God doesn't tempt, it's the devil who tempts, but God tests. There is a difference between these two. Here it says, when you fall into various trials. See, we are serving a great God who will test us, whether you like it or not. The devil will tempt us, but our God will test us. Through baptism, you know the joy that is there when we take baptism? It's the biggest privilege. Let blood pressure come, let diabetes come, let any crazy thing come to this body. Why am I worried? If this body is no more mine, it's his. He knows how to take care of this body, right? Why am I crying when a problem comes? Have I committed myself into his hands? Have I committed my life into his hands? Through baptism, have I offered my body also into his hands? Today the tragedy is many people have taken baptism who didn't know what's the meaning of baptism. Snana Snana 
അല്ല കല്യാണത്തിന് വേണ്ടി അല്ലെങ്കിൽ രോഗത്തിൽ നിന്ന് മാറാൻ വേണ്ടി സ്നാനപ്പെട്ടതാണെങ്കിൽ അത് സ്നാനമേ അല്ല At the time of baptism, you don't have to understand the whole theology. But you should know what you are doing. Once you go into the water and you are baptized, when you come out, you cannot live as the world lives. The equation has changed. Let the world do any crazy thing. You cannot because you are dead to this world. But the world is dead to this world. I am dead to this world. Logam prathikin na gole eniki prathikin kariya thila. The world is praying for their needs. A person who is baptized is not bothered about his needs because he knows he is faithful. I know whom I have believed. That's what Paul says. Here we read, count it all joy when you fall into diverse. trials namade jeevathi prayasam varumbo karendiya samayam alla santoshikkeya samayam but that something hard for many to accept and the thalayile ella mudi enni vechittundu he has counted all my hairs he calls the stars by their names that's how great our god is he says i have engraved you he has not kept us in his hands he has engraved us what do you mean by engraving if he has kept me in his hands if he turns his hand this book will fall but when i am engraved thank god i am not engraved in his feet but i am engraved in his hands that's how secure i am hallelujah no devil on earth can touch me that's why i count it a joy when trials come it's not the devil it's my father who is at work ende jeevathile endana karthave kashtam anuvadikkunnathu ninne ende putrandhya swarupathi kondruvan vendiya ninne thagarkkanalla the reason he is allowing these trials in our life is not to destroy me but to conform me into the image of his son nammal nithyade pombol pidavu nokkumbol putranum nyanum ഒരു വ്യത്യാസം കാണല്ലേ ദാറ്റ്സ് ദി റീസൺ യു നോ देयर इज समवन इनसाइड अस നമ്മുടെ അകത്ത് ഇരിക്കുന്ന ഒരു ദൂതനല്ല സർവശക്തൻ നമ്മുടെ അകത്ത് വസിക്കുന്നുണ്ട് നമുക്കുണ്ട് നാം बिफोर ദി ഹോളി സ്പിരിറ്റ് ഡിസൈഡ് ആ ലോർഡ് സെഡ് വെ ടു ഓർ ത്രീ ആർ ഗാദർഡ് ഇൻ മൈ നെയിം ഐ ആം പക്ഷെ പരിശുദ്ധാത്മാവ് ഇറങ്ങി കഴിഞ്ഞ രണ്ട് മൂന്ന് പേർ വേണം even if i am alone even if i am alone he is there he doesn't require two or three to come once the holy spirit has descended now even if i am alone yan jail kadnal ende sharirathi cancer vannalum ende agath oru vannunde when cancer came he didn't leave you and run away when there is pain in your body there is someone inside you when you are going through problems in your life there is someone who is walking with you can you sense his presence he allows all those things because his desire he wants you to be conformed to the image of his son thank god for the great desire he has yes i worship god Yes we thank God it's good but that's not enough He loves me that's why 